My name is Borja Martín. I'm the director of international relations at Universidad Loyola Andalucía. Loyola University, it's the only private non-profit Jesuit university in the south of Spain, in the region of Andalusia. Within Loyola, we have a, compre a comprehensive proposal for business at undergrad, master degrees, executive education, and PhD level. So we have uh, three uh, styles of uh, masters. We have a master uh, for professionals that they are also combining with other degrees. For example, we have a double MBA plus engineering master, which is very successful. We have a part-time MBA, which is more focusing into professionals. And we have an executive education uh, strategy where we partner with ESADE Business School. ESADE is also a Jesuit institution. It's among our network. And we do a management uh, programs with uh, uh, their expertise. And actually we have grown very much in all the uh, processes and the quality that we deliver thanks to our partnership with them. Well, the Society of Jesus has been in education since 1540 as a tool for transformation and promoting faith and justice. Nowadays, uh, the Society of Jesus and the Jesuit universities account around 180 colleges and universities all around the world. All of us now, the way that we collaborate together as a network, in 2018, I was part of the, let's say, steering committee of that, created the International Association of Jesuit Universities, which is the umbrella organization that, uh, let's say, coordinates the efforts of all these institutions around the world. In terms of regional presence, United States with 27 uh, institutions such as Georgetown, Fordham, Boston College, Santa Clara, St. Louis, Loyola Chicago, Loyola New Orleans, or Loyola Marymount are uh, one of the biggest uh, areas where the uh, GS University has presence. Second would be in Latin America with 31 institutions. Universities like Javeriana de Bogotá, Universidad Católica de Uruguay, Pontificia Universidad de Rio de Janeiro, Iberoamericana in Mexico. I mean, a very good uh, regional impact. In Europe, especially in Spain, is where we have the largest, uh, uh, let's say, part of the cake in the sense of Comillas, Deusto, uh, IQS, ESADE, and Loyola. We are one of the biggest, but also we have interesting universities like Namur in Belgium or St. Joseph in Lebanon because Middle East is also combining with Europe. And now we all have also the partnership with Ireland, with the National College of Ireland. So besides Europe, uh, North America, Latin America, the Society of Jesus is promoting the creation of universities in Africa, nine projects to uh, start and nine projects to come in Madagascar, in Kenya, in Zimbabwe, in Nigeria, and also India is booming with 80 institutions, uh, Loyola Chennai, uh, Exalarai, uh, Xavier University, Bhubaneswar, Jandin Sampur, and also in AP, we have a quite prestigious universities like Sofia University in Tokyo with more than 100 years, Sogan in South Korea, Ateneos in the Philippines, Sadata Dharma in Indonesia. So you can see it's a very vibrant network. Uh, what brings all together is the values that we stand for of faith and justice and promoting opportunities to uh, transform the people to be the, the men and women for others that we want them to become. Well, when we talk about faith, the Sede Jesus is a Catholic congregation, so we have the Catholic uh, roots and we follow the Catholic social teaching model. But for sure, Jesuits are well known all around the world, especially now that the Pope Francis is a Jesuit, um, the first one in history. Um, faith in terms to the open of transcendence. It doesn't mean that you need to be Catholic to be part of our network or to partner with us. It's just only that you have some openness to transcendence and spirituality. But actually, Jesuits are well known for religious dialogue, um, um, collaboration with other 
safe and open to discuss with all kind of cultures. But for sure, in our roots, is this open as a human beings for transcending as spirituality. Actually, in this globalization of superficiality that we believe that we are living right now, you know, we, we go very fast. The speed that the technology put into we people, uh, it's, we need more values, we need to reflect, we need to be self-awareness of who we are and we want to, to be, what, want, what, what, what we, we want to accomplish as humans and actually how we can make the world a better place. So without the understanding of uh, how we open to transcendence on what is bigger than us, it's, it's difficult to do it. So that's why we promote a principle that means cura personalis, which is people at the center, and we train and we work with our students and our, our university community in all sense, not just only as professionals, but actually as individuals, as people with uh, belief and people that they want to have a meaningful life. So for us it's important to help people to live extraordinary life and to accomplish their objectives uh, and their goals in their lives. During these days you've been enjoying the culture in Andalusia, the food, the history, the safe environment and how welcoming the people of our cities, especially in Seville, are. Wonderful. We have a lot of opportunities and potential. We are one of the largest regions in Spain. Actually, we have almost the size of Portugal. We uh, account the youngest population. We are the door for Europe, for Latin America. And we have an important geo-strategic location. We're a melting pot of cultures. You can feel the influence of Muslim, Jewish, Christians, culture in our cities, but and that's the reason why we have put in motion the university. We have a strong rate of unemployment. For many years, it has been a, a lot of corrections in terms of politics. Also, for many years, perhaps the European Union expenditure in the region is not has been invested in the best way. We have a lack of entrepreneurship we, because we are at the south. Nobody will come to solve the problems of our region with external solutions. So in a strong self-confident movement, the Society of Jesus with lay people put in motion a university as the answer to try to help to the change of the game in the sense of we want to promote the local talent, we want to prevent the brain drain for a lot of students that they go somewhere else to study because they don't find the profile of university that they are looking for. So far, we only the private non-profit university and the competitive advantage that we have is that we are student center. I mean, the student and its transformation, its internationalization, its employability, it is the most important. We want to create entrepreneurs. We want to see employment. We need to create business people that manage projects. We need to create entrepreneurs that put in motion businesses, that they create wealth. So when we talk justice, is that we want to also help in the development of the region with a university answer. For sure, quality research, projects, European Union funding, advancement, fundraising, all of this. When you have a university, you have a stronger voice. You can also take the lead in terms of we want to be different. Uh, we can do things, I don't know if better or not, but at least let's try to, to offer something different. And that's the, the, the concept of justice that we have. And always looking to the people with special needs, people with lower resources. We have a strong uh, problem with uh, neighborhoods. Despite our cities are beautiful, uh, some of the most poor neighborhoods, not just only in Spain and in Europe, they are very near from us. We want to work with them, we want to accompany them to promote also the social elevator through education in terms to try to accomplish this justice mission. That's the reason why Loyola is here. 
our MBAs are quite uh, based in what we call Jesuit leadership. In our case, what we, and to summarize, uh, taking into, into account the, the summary of our very good friend Chris Lowney, who wrote uh, a leadership book called Heroic Leadership, we can, we, we can summarize the principle for leadership that we have in our MBAs in four, which be, number one is love. Love with everything that you do, love for others, love for the people that you lead because you cannot lead without that component. That's very strong principle that we want to put also into our programs. Second would be self-awareness. All these new management uh, styles are also based in who you are and what you can accomplish, but not just only as individual, but actually as a group. So you cannot lead the others if you don't lead yourself. So that's also very, very important. In our MBA, we have actually it's transversal to all our master programs. We have a, a, our own degree called Leaders for the Wall that all the students they have to take where we have these principles incorporated. Love, self-awareness, ingenuity in terms of innovation. We have to reinvent, we have to be ready for change in the day-to-day -day basis. So a strong focus in building up skills and capabilities. And the fourth of the principle will be heroism. In the sense of we have a life to live, we have to try to do something that is bigger than us. And at least we have to try. We are what we dream for. So we are meaningful, we are people that we want to accomplish things in life. Life is so precious. We better do something that we enjoy, that bring happiness to us, and they do the common, the good thing, or uh, the right thing to do for the others. We are part of a long tradition, as I said, established in 1540, of uh, institutional educations that they promote the development of the, the individual as a whole trying to prepare them to live extraordinary lives with a sense of transcendence, with a sense of uh, justice, with a sense of the common good and what is the right thing to do. Hopefully, and I've been part of the funding group of the university, one day uh, I can be all and proud of all the life that we help it to change and to contribute perhaps just a little bit to the development of the society that we serve.